if you have arachnophobia, this story might not be your favorite of the day. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. This is the Great Salt Lake. Wandering around out here looking for something to tie a fly with. I think I found something we can use for uh, our next fly pattern. Oh no, man. Not sure it'd be a good idea if I touch these feathers. I'm gonna show you guys something cool. You see this this dark dark line. Brian larva casings. Watch this. Look at how many there are. They're everywhere. Oh there's something there's see look little gift we could take we'll take that let me show you this though check this out let's see what the bottom of it looks like the beetle in there you see that unless it's a spider Let's see if we can find a big. What's this up here? Oh, dude. There's a treasure trove. Yeah. We found our our feather for our wacky fly diary. If we this is where the water runs in, the Wasatch Front. Beautiful, huh? Something just ran in front of me at that hole. Okay, so this is the secret bridge. I'll show you guys the other side. Go under here. I found something else for the wacky fly. Yeah. I don't think I would like to meet the spider that made this. Look at this. That's a spider web. That is not a string. Look at this. It's a it's probably hibernating inside there. Yeah. Well, if you have arachnophobia, this story might not be your favorite of the day. Don't listen if you don't want to. The western orb weaver spider is taking over the shores of the Great Salt Lake by the thousands, if not millions. You guys will like this view. There's a pulley system. What would they use this for? That actually probably doesn't look like it, but it's about maybe 12 feet. 
my wife left me, so we better go find her. Oh, man, I almost lost my... I got two feathers. And something different. See if you guys enjoy this type of video. Maybe there's something under this rock. A terrifying spider. They were probably hibernating under there. And then when the snow melted, they died. I gotta go find my wife. waiting for me to turn the heater on. The feather. There's still snow. Do you have anything to say? No. So now, we're going to go Tie fly. There's some buffalo. Look, he's scratching, babe. Yeah. <laughs> He's dirty, it's not my camera. That's cool. Lunch time. I'm gonna show you guys something. We found the entire herd. We're going to this table. the view. Which one would you guys eat? Like, you pick and I'll take what you want. I'm gonna go for the one I bought. Okay, then I'm gonna try the honey. I'm gonna try the honey barbecue. It's equal to a half a can of tuna. Pretty good. She loves being on the camera, can't you tell? All right, now let's tie a fly. I got distracted again. Isn't that a beautiful color? we have you guys remember this and then we've got this little guy right here and for the wacky fly diaries I'll just say I have to incorporate the materials that I find into the fly that I'm tying and I'm trying a new hook 
size 12. And it's just a generic uh, box, like box of hooks that I got off Amazon. Just testing them because they're cheap Look for the thread. So olive 70 denier. And we're going to start about two eyes back. Tying a little bump. And then I'll bring our thread back out. Okay, so for the first material, I'm tying some of this orange pheasant tail. Three of those fibers, the same length. Don't you guys love that sound, the sound of a bobbin spinning. Okay, we're gonna tie to that bump. Right in front of that bump, that makes those tail fibers splay up. What I did is I took my little micro homemade bobbin, aka needle, and I put a little bit of fluorescing UV resin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to split these tails and I'm going to come up in here and I'm just going to split, split that, put a little dab between there, attempt to split these tails. So we have three tails, trim the rest. Next, our salty goose feather. Okay, so I trimmed off four or five fibers. Man, these are in terrible condition. That's okay, that's the purpose of Wacky Flat Diaries. I'm gonna take something bad, something junk, and make something good out of it. Just a dab of super glue. And we're gonna just catch it. A little salty. Clean up those tips. Peacock colored uh, angel hair, mylar, some wopsy dubbing wax. Just gonna wax the thread a little bit. A lot of you don't think that it's necessary, and it's not, um, but it does help the dubbing stick. A real small noon here. We're going to come back into that by it a little bit. Next, got some cheap plastic canvas yarn, waterproof. Pretty much the same thing as strike indicator. And I'm just going to strip off a two inch piece here. And I'm just going to take my wire brush here and I'm just going to brush it out. Brush that side out, turn it around, and I'll brush that side out. Just like that. I'm gonna fold it in half, just to give me a little more bulk. Got the antron here, or the, I should say, poly yarn. I'm just gonna wrap over it. And then we're gonna go this way, pull the wing back. So we're basically, essentially, we're crisscrossing. Then when I come back up here, I'll pull this wing forward, get behind that. Now, some peacock dubbing. Just dubbing a noodle now. Okay, and so what we're gonna do with our dubbing is the same thing. I really need to invest in some quality dubbing. Grab the wings, pull them back, get rid of this excess. It looks terrible now, but hang in there, guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a pretty cool finished product. Next, I'm gonna take a black marker. I'm gonna color a couple inches of my thread and pull everything back. Thread. The wing, pull the wings up. I'm gonna trim those in a second, but you know, I'm just gonna brush out some of this just to get some legs. And I've got a couple of those silver fibers in there, so I'm just gonna come in here and 
just color those. Okay, I'm going to grab all this and trim at a really steep angle up and back. And here's the fly. It's a spinner, a little spinner dry fly. I'm excited for blue wings and big drakes this summer. And this is this should catch fish. I like using the orange tails because it kind of gives it a little hot spot. The animal bylin spinner. Thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate you and I will see you guys on the next episode. This is Steve from Blackfly. Tuning out. There's aliens. For real.